one of those things that I also did was like uh, I have a door sensor. Uh, no, wait, uh, a water um, detector. Like if you, yeah, if like you a flood spillage. sensor. Yeah, I put one of those car seat uh, sensors on it and put yep. it on the bed. So if you lay in bed, you also have a bed detection right now. So it's that's also one of those things. But it's not. It's not. It's not it's not reliable enough to use as an automation. My wife works uh, night shifts, so it would be right. nice to have something like that uh, because I what I want to do uh, is if she's laying in bed, it's during the day, I want to turn off the doorbell, for example. Mm -hmm. No doorbells, yeah. no noise, uh, the, the shutters down, things like that. Even temperature in the room, uh, monitor that. And that should all be possible, but it's it's a bit too finicky right now, so I need to mm. find a better solution for that. Uh, I know that there are uh, one of those bands that you can lay in bed. Uh, what, what's it called again? Oh, like a like, Fitbit smart, like you know, you could, um, yeah, there's a Fitbit, there's a few sleep trackers as well. Yeah. My things have got one, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm thinking of rings but, too, yeah. yeah but I'm thinking of maybe buying one of those, but I just want to be sure that it works and because it. it uh, yeah. Well, if you disrupt somebody's sleep during the day and they're a light sleeper, yeah. then, then nights, well, the day dream is over. I mean, yeah. 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 I know I know. there's a lot of folks that work with uh, force sensitive resistors, right? Like the little strip and then you, mm -hmm. uh, I think I saw this on Mark Watt's channel uh, where he basically took an old uh, reed sensor, like an old, uh, like a door sensor or something like that. And yeah. basically, in, instead of dealing with the, the door sensor part of it, he just cut those pieces off and he soldered on the force res, uh, force sensitive resistor. So oh, basically, now that gives you uh, like a Zigbee base or a Bluetooth base or what, whatever whatever it is. Yeah, it's uh, a bit what I did too. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. But, yeah so you, you kind of kind of get that there too. Yeah, I just I just want to make make sure that it works properly before I implement sure. it on somebody or well night sleep or day sleep. yeah so, I've, yeah. I've seen a lot of folks that where it does where you can basically like like based on their weight so you get them to lie on their side of the bed and then whatever and and mm -hmm. if, if you if you do the sides of bed thing which most people i know do but you, you get them and then you, you basically say okay this is my partner's weight this is my weight whatever or it's not really the weight, right? It's the resistance. This is this yep. is the resistance I'm getting. This is the resistance my partner's getting, whatever it is. And based on that, you can say like, Kurt in bed, Kurt out of bed, or, you know, partner in bed, partner out of bed, that kind of thing. Would be a nice solution if, if, yeah. it's, it's, if it's stable. It's, that's, that's to me. And yeah, eh, I, I, I try to make things stable because enough, well, yeah, you, you guys 100%. know enough of those automations are, why has that happened just now? And then you need to debug and all of a sudden you're, well, you're on uh, on your PC for like uh, two hours looking for that one <laughs> little signal that you missed. And 